Hey guys, Mikai here, and today we're going to be creating a really cool sniping shooter game, a f kind of first person shooter game in Scratch. We're going to be shooting ninjas that are attempting to steal a an important key, uh, but here we have it, and let's get right in. Okay, so first thing, we're going to import a photo. I'll give you guys the link to this photo so that you don't have to go make your own. So I'm going to upload, and then we're going to go to... Well, let's see if we can find it in my desktop. Which is extremely nice. You go into pick, press open. All right, very nice as you can see. Whoops, I was just messing around here. Um, this is gonna be our zombie, right? We're not gonna cut anything with him right now, but what we're also gonna do is go into paint new sprite, zoom in almost all the way, set your line width to as little as possible, go into black, and then actually just go like that. So then once you have that, and um, let's see, uh, make this the center, and then go into your line, choose the top, just go to the bottom, make sure that they're just like crosshairs, and then um, drag in another filled circle with red this time to be the pointer. There we go. Whoops. I'm just gonna draw that actually. So there, 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 there. And yeah. So then here we have this. Um, we're actually going to create another circle around the outer circle. Whoops, we don't wanna have it no fill, only stroke. Make it just this much. We can actually even shrink it down a bit. It's not too important, but I think it'll make our game look much better. So, if I can get this to happen, <laughs> let's see. I'm using my arrow keys. You can use arrow keys to move things around and scratch. That looks fine. And then um, increase the size of this to go into events. One flag is clicked, go into looks. Set size to 500%. I feel like that's gonna be too big. Actually, no, it's not. It looks okay. So then forever motion, go to mouse pointer. So there we have a mouse uh, crosshair. Okay, we're gonna center this just a bit better. It's not fully centered. That's the most important thing. You need to center it, otherwise it will not work. I repeat, it will not work if you do not center it. So then um, we're gonna set the ghost effect to a little bit less. So uh, set ghost effect to let's do 40 so actually a little bit more it's a little bit less so that you get that you can see it but you also can see the background and i'm going to set it to less because i want to see more of the background 25 seems good so yeah okay i like this i like 25 a lot um so then we're gonna have zombies coming in from the left and the right this is the heart of the code uh, decrease it so that you get set size to maybe 40%. Uh, let's see. Even less, actually. 25, maybe? There we go. 25 sounds just about right. Again, I'll link this. So you guys, you don't have to go searching for it everywhere. And then also what I'm going to do with this is delete the top left, this little thing. Because I don't like it. And it looks kind of strange to me. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can fully erase it from existence and then there we go whoops so here let me let me erase this a better way there we go okay now it's perfectly deleted okay so now that that's good good um we're gonna go into events one flag is clicked forever if uh forever we're gonna set a new variable. It's gonna be called, um, let's see, it's gonna be called time between ninjas, okay? So now that we have that, we're gonna set time between ninjas to two at the very start, and then go into control, say wait, time between ninja seconds, and then simply create clone of myself. So go into control, click, click this here, Okay, so then um, 
we're gonna go into when I start as clone. So when I start as clone, show myself because we're gonna hide ourselves before. Show hide. Um, and then uh, we're going to set this variable. Make sure it's for this time only. Uh, set it to, let's see, set variable name to, um, let's set variable name to, uh, this is gonna be called which side. This is gonna be just for the uh, ninja, I said. It's gonna decide whether he's gonna come from the left side or the right side. So we're gonna create a new key. Um, we're gonna create the key that the zombies are gonna want. So set this in the middle. Okay, let's scroll down just a bit. And let's design our key. So go into black, make sure it's you're using the lowest size possible. And I don't exactly know how to draw a key, but I'm gonna try it because I don't wanna just get it off the internet. Uh, let's see, like that. And then go down just a bit. Go right, go up, and then scroll right a little bit. Scroll here, bring it down even more, bring it to the right, bring it up once again, and then bring it all the way over, and then uh, design your circle once again. So here we go, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. I'm doing a pretty bad job, just because I, for t tutorial sake. Uh, here we go. That's actually not what we want to do. I don't. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, I don't. I don't want to keep that because it didn't look nice at all. There we go. Okay, so keys are usually yellow, so that's what we're gonna make this. Make it yellow. Um, fill in these weird things, and then make the center of it black. Create like the whole. So, so that like, here we go. Let's let's change the eraser size to even a bit less. And then there, that's our key. Pretty simple key actually. Uh, here we go. This is gonna be in the middle. And then uh, in sprite one, we're gonna go to our scripts. When I start as clone show, and then uh, set which side to random between one and two. So this is gonna pick a random uh, integer from one to two, but one or two, and then control if, as you probably guessed, go to operators once again, set equals, make this one. If which side equals one, then simply set your, um, simply set the position. So say go to X is gonna be negative 240 and then y is going to be between positive and negative 180 so negative 180 and positive 180 simply duplicate this if statement whoops as i said duplicate this if statement by right clicking it set this to 2 and then all you have to do to change is set the x to 240 then go into control say repeat until and then so this will run through our code. Repeat until touching the uh, actual key. So drag in that. Make sure you're clicked on sprite three. That you're gonna keep on moving 10 steps and pointing towards uh, the key, which is sprite three. So uh, this should work pretty smoothly right off the bat. And that's not what we want. We want it to go like stay like that. So uh, three seems just a little bit too much. So maybe three. So now you can uh, see that we're gonna slowly snipe them away. So if we were to headshot, then we could do that there. Uh, so that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys wanted our next part, let me know in the comments below. I think this came out pretty cool. And I think that uh, everything looks pretty cool and the art's pretty cool. Again, I'll link the uh, art for the ninja in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you want a part two and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.